Welcome back, everybody. Mm. Oh, we'll just... Uh-oh. Why do you look so on edge, Adol? I'm not planning any dastardly deeds today. Hey, do you remember that jewel I took? After analyzing it, I discovered that it dates back to the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> Ugh, I can't wait to go back for the rest. Drink up! I'm buying today. <sighs> oh, please, Adol. There's priceless treasure just sitting there, waiting for someone to take it. I'm going to find a way in. But you're more than welcome to keep me company. What's that, Mr. Adventurer? Is that the pot I hear calling the kettle black? I admit, I find that the more dangerous the situation, the more exciting it is. We're two peas in a pod, you and I. Don't you think? I've been meaning to ask you something, Adam. What went through your mind when you found out about the other? You. Did it ever occur to you that you still might not even be the real adult? What if the real adult's still out there somewhere? <laughs> oh, I do love confidence in my men. No, not at all. I was just thinking about what you said. Money was the reason I started stealing, but it wasn't the reason I kept doing it. There's a part of me that pines for a thrill, even if I don't get a single gold coin out of it. <laughs> You're a fascinating man. You know that, Adol Kristen? I wonder what other escapades you've gone yourself into. Is it true that you don't keep the treasures and legendary weapons you find? Next time, you should just give them to me. I'll find you a good buyer on the black market. Why doesn't he keep them? sleeping here but what a relief i had a dream that you left somewhere without us but then i woke up and here you are well. that's okay we were just a bit startled when you fainted in the restricted sector hey at all you're gonna leave when the curse is gone aren't you I've been doing my best to help everyone break the curse, but when Zola told us we didn't have to fight anymore, I was sad. It was this curse that brought us together. What if it was actually a blessing? I was afraid that if this blessing went away, you wouldn't stay with me anymore. I know I'm proud. 
probably overthinking it. If only it would never end. My sister was taken, and on top of that, I'm still having trouble believing that I'm a homunculus. But I'll keep my chin up. You helped me realize how brave and strong I could really be. And because of that, I finally gained father's approval. I have to repay the favor. I'll do my best to help you too. Out of this one. Come back any time. I'm looking forward to seeing what Iris has to show us. Do you know anything about it at all? Gramps, at all. Thank you for waiting. <sighs> so, what do you think? You better say it looks good, or I'll stab your eyes out! <laughs> of course well. That's for somebody's fetish. Just for yours, truly. <laughs> that was very generous of him. But if Shante was the one who made it for you, then does that mean you're... That's correct. From now on, I'll be working at the Dandelion. I'm hanging up my hat as an assassin. I'm putting it all behind me, along with my royal title. It was just a name, anyway. That's a very big decision, Iris. Yes. After coming to the Dandelion, I've since learned the error of my ways. I blame the Romans for everything. 
everything bad that happened to me. And I spent my life running, but I'm done with that. I want to start living for myself, like all of you are. Starting from now, I'm just going to be plain old Iris. Good for you. I support your decision. I think it's a much better job for you than being an assassin. <laughs> yes, I think you are right. Though, I hope you don't think you're getting out of receiving a proper education. I understand that you can read and write, but there's much to learn about the world. Ugh. And if you're going to work here, you'll need to learn etiquette as well. Be sure to address Shante with respect. He is your manager now. Now you sound just like the overbearing goody two-shoes who raised me. was some kind of black market dealer or whatever. And he was stubborn to boot. I commanded him countless times to teach me how to kill, but he only taught me self-defense. I found out later he never intended to teach me how to be an assassin in the first place, as a favor to someone who died before I was born. The one who entrusted me to him. I see. It must have been difficult for you to part with him. You should be grateful to your parents and the man who took you in. Because of them, you have the opportunity to live an honest life. See what I mean? Overbearing! If you piss me off, I will gut you. <laughs> I thought you retired from being an assassin. Yes, I did. But... That would be murder. Oh, by the way, I made something for you two. You had better stay put until I get back. <laughs> this tea looks excellent. Shall we add all? <coughs> this tea is rather invigorating. <laughs> Got you, losers! I spiked it with the hottest spices from his spawny. I may not be an assassin anymore, but I never said I was going to be some law-abiding citizen. You had better watch what you eat around here, too. <coughs> you sure got us good. But I do hope you'll keep these practical jokes to a minimum. Okay. Hmm. And when I get her memories back, I don't I care. Nothing. Where's where's Dogi? Raw squawk. Just take your time. What do I need? Flower. Null ailments. Buy something next time, okay? Come back soon. Well, I would, but I don't exactly know where Silhouette is. Oh, at all. What? what? 
Oh. Pamela. Ah, no, uh, the Renault resident of Dario. Okay, the antique dealer. Doing that. Sure thing. What do you want to make? Leave it to me. That's all right. That should do it. There, I maxed out everything. Work out there. Here, silhouette. Oh, there you are. Hello. Any errands you'd like me to run? Here you are. Can't wait to try it out. You wish. Ooh, this is pretty spiffy. Here you are. I should be able to make use of it. As you wish. For me? Are you sure? Hmm. This ain't half bad. As you wish. I shall use it with care. Anything else you'd like me to fetch? Any errands you'd like me to run? Here you are. As you wish. Hmm. Are you sure? What would you like me to do? Out 
Just take your time. Thanks a bunch! Huh? Bon appetit! Anything come back soon! <laughs> what would you like me to do? Here you are. Anything call for me whenever you like. Sure. You just take your time. Bon appetit! Anything come back soon! There's still 20% of the map left? Yeah. Eh. I'm ready and raring to go. So I need several soul spars. Well, don't just sleep. I'm ready and raring. Let me come back anytime. I didn't go there. They're still there. I don't care about your fucking personal bullshit. Wait. Okay, never mind. I thought it changed my party again. Yeah. 
Something's here. Something's here. I missed a treasure chest somewhere? I forgot where we we're supposed to go in here.
Something's here.
Now then, Monstrums, what do you say we finish up my request? What? But you already killed all of the homunculi. There's just one more to go. This one. You cannot mean... Wait, so you're also a homunculus? Yeah. Funny, isn't it? What was his name? Chatelard? I don't know when he created me. It was probably when the real me came to this prison for an inspection. But it doesn't matter now. Would you oblige me at all? I wouldn't want it to be anyone else. That's why I brought someone to convince you. I wish to ask this of you as well, Adol. Parks? What are you doing here? I recall Parks mentioning that he was friends with Marius. Marcus Claudius Garmanicus. That is the name of one of the most celebrated, revered people in the Roman Empire. Marius is, with all due respect, a homunculus of that man. What? <laughs> it all makes sense now. What makes sense? What are you talking about? Marius is a homunculus of the current emperor of Rom. What? He is? But if you're his friend, then who are you, Parks? I regret I had to keep it a secret from you all. But my real name is Lindheim. I was formerly only a cardinal of the church, but now I am also governor general of Glia. But weren't you supposed to be missing? Cardinal Lindheim. I knew you weren't just some old man, but I can't say I saw this coming. When I went to inspect the prison, I saw an inmate who looked just like his majesty. I thought my eyes were deceiving me, so I investigated as an undercover prisoner. But I had no idea he was a homunculus. It was my fault you went through all of that, Lindheim. Nonsense. It was my choice. I couldn't turn a blind eye to his majesty. Even if you're not precisely the same person. I figured Adol needed to hear this to understand your reasoning. I believe Shadowlard has some kind of control over me. After we escaped, I knocked Adol out and returned to the prison with him. In the same vein, I think it prevents me from ending my own life. I may not be a real Imperial Knight, but it'd be nice to go out like one. That's why it needs to be you, Adol. You're the only one who can do this. Yeah. Can't say no to some murder hoboing. My friend. All right, Adol. Don't hold back. Ow. Okay, never mind. Say one more thing before I go. In your adventures, you save people's lives. <laughs> you lead them, give them courage. You discover the unknown, and little by little, your actions change the world. I'm sure, Adol, that you'll come to understand the meaning of this someday. doubt that you will. When you find the answer, tell it to the real me. Would you? I'm sure that wisdom will help the world find the one who's behind this. You have to stop him. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Adol. We had a good... at 
all. Thank you, at all. That may be, but I feel as though I owe it to you regardless, both as your friend and his. He was one hell of a guy, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The one who's behind this? He must have known about Zola. So he was the Emperor's. <clears throat> um, I had no idea that you were the Governor General, Parks. I hope we didn't do anything to offend you. Of course you didn't. And I'm the one who owes you an apology. Forgive me for keeping this a secret from all of you. Y you don't have to! I hope you will find the sincerity in my words, despite my prevarication. I'm very glad to have met you all, though I wish it were in different circumstances. With that, I should also be on my way. No. Yeah! The Dandelion never would have been possible without you. You're the one who started it, Governor General or not. And I believe it would be in your best interest as Governor General to see this through. It is handy having you around. And maybe you could keep those nosy soldiers in check. Well, not that someone like Belger would pose much of a threat. Hmm. <laughs> you are all very convincing. Uh, very well. I shall remain at the Dandelion. Though I may return to my office occasionally, to tend to my many long overdue affairs. Yes. Yes, likewise. But are you sure about this? My allegiance lies with Rom. Of course we are. To us, you're still Parks, not the Governor General. I understand. I shall be sure to remember that. Yeah.
Always a pleasure. Buy what you like. Oh, save for Anna Mona, of course. Change your mind. Come again anytime. Anna Mona's not even here. She's in the party, douche. Oh, let's see if they got anything in Pendleton. Take your time. Look. Let me know if I can help. No, Thank we don't got nothing in Pencil Dick. Okay, so some Oh, Main Square Marketplace. How's this shit going to do about the ultimate grip mold Knox coming up?
Still trying to fucking hey, Duke doesn't get much better than this. Like, I don't what is this? Fuck! It's gotta be... idea what the fuck that is. Hello, free level. Oh, that's new. The fuck is that? Soldiers are hard at work. <laughs> best of all to the best.
fuck? Oh no, that's the last landmark. Dad. Jules, how did you know I was here? Is there something you all needed to speak with me about? It's been a long time. So I know how difficult it is to see her. Either way, you know Mom's never going to stop looking for you. Ah, so she did see me. I should have been more discreet. If you don't mind me asking, Dr. Noah, what are you doing here? Ah, right. Do you see this plaque behind me? Inscribed on it is a record of diseases throughout history. I came to see if I could find anything useful. Oh, I see. You were looking for a way to cure jewels. What? <laughs> Am I really that transparent? Still, this might be a good opportunity for me to explain everything to you all. You deserve to know what happened. It was many years ago, long before I knew anything about homunculi. I came to learn of an institution that fostered war orphans. That was where I first met you, Jules. I was a war orphan? Yes. Aprilis had entrusted the four of you to that orphanage. She couldn't take care of you on her own. It was her last resort. That's understandable. Indeed. It was in that orphanage where we met Jules. You should have seen how happy Pamela was. After all, she couldn't bear children of her own. Mom couldn't have children? Unfortunately not. But I know that she loved you more because of it. The years after we adopted you were the happiest of our lives. When you became ill, it devastated your mother. That's when I promised her that I would find a cure for you. Dad. One day, in my desperate search to find a treatment, a man approached me. That man was an alchemist named Zola. Papa. He told me who he was and asked for my help in his alchemy research. It was then he revealed to me that you, Jules, were a homunculus. I thought that if I helped him, I would eventually find a way to cure your disease. I had no idea. But why did you have to leave us? The hero you were created from suffered from the same disease as you. I surmised that the hero's body would lead me to more clues about the disease. However, Zola kept a firm grip on his research. As a condition for becoming his adjutant, I was forbidden from leaving the prison. Dad, I... It's not your fault, Jules. Being sick isn't ever anyone's fault. Believe me, my deepest regret is leaving you and your mother without saying goodbye. Jules, there's something you've been wanting to say, isn't there? You don't have to wait anymore. Yufa. <laughs> Dad. To tell you the truth, there were many things I wanted to say to you when I saw you again. I wanted to tell you how much I despised you. How much I hated you. But now, how could I say any of those things? Jules. Thanks, Dad, <laughs> for taking care of me, <laughs> for being my dad, <laughs> and for trying to find a cure for me. <laughs> Thank you. Jules. As a doctor, it would be imprudent of me to be too optimistic, but I'm progressively coming to understand your disease. There's still a chance for a cure. I will do everything in my power to save you. <laughs> Dad. Good thing you two finally hashed it out. Hey, by the way, what kind of research were you helping Zola with exactly? 
Ah. I was looking for ways to extract memories from a person's soul. That research allowed me to create the primordials and monsters from Adol's memories. I imagine Zola plans on taking this research even further. Even further. But what about Shadowlard? I thought you two were working together. You must mean how Shadowlard gathered those with desirable talents in the prison. That was Zola's plan all along. He was merely using Master Shadowlord. Zola was the one who truly needed them. In spite of that, he rarely shows himself in the prison nowadays. I'm afraid even I don't know what he planned on doing with them. Whatever it was, I'm sure it wasn't anything good. Hmm. Zola is an unforgiving man, if his treatment of Shadowlord was any indication. But if you ask me if he were evil, I wouldn't be able to tell you. He sincerely believes his actions are just, regardless of the implications. You mean he's a whack job, the kind you stay away from? That may be true. I admit, I have my fair share of blame for your hardships, Monstrums. For that, I apologize. It was the least I could do to make it up to you, but I don't expect to be forgiven on that alone. Dad. I'll go see your mother soon, Jules. You have my word. My son is fighting his best even when sick. It's only right that I work just as hard. After it's all over, we'll go back to how it was. You, me, and your mother. Crimson King. No, at all. Zola is profoundly fascinated with you. You have no reason to trust me. But I suggest that you be careful. Now then. It's nearly sunset. I'd better return to the prison. You'll have to excuse me. Dad? Um... You be careful, too. Yes. I will. And then Adol Kristen had to fight... had to face... the greatest threat the world has ever faced. Hey, himself. for you, Jules. <laughs> yeah, um... Thanks. I should thank you guys, too. We're all happy for you, Jules. Your dad is a good person after all. Why the fuck he does Jules get this like long <sighs> epilogue thing yeah, for his yeah, like little story right. bit? Can we go back to town now? Yes, exactly. You guys talk too fucking much. I didn't even get to kill anything. Like talk to talk to the old biddy, go to the church, go to here, and you're done. Why are we- why does he get, like, all this story bit from a simple-ass fucking three teleport quest? What is so special about Wheelchair Child? He doesn't wheelchair when he fights. He only wheelchairs when he has to be normal. And even then, he's usually in disguise and not wheelchairing. outcome. Yes, it's Zir at the start of the Alchemy Lab! But what you didn't realize, but it was actually I backtracking!
Mystic Lazy Light. Exactly, Credo, meh. So are they going to notice that Anamona's right there? This one. Oh, Rodario, that one simply won't do. I think girls these days prefer frills like this one has. Oh, for crying out loud, Melissa. You don't like any of the ones I pick. Maybe this would be easier if you just picked it yourself. I do have my opinions, but I could never decide all on my own. Is everything okay, Anamona? Uh, yes. I was just thinking about Melissa and Rogerio's conversation. It reminded me of something. Of something from your past? Yes. A memory from many years ago. Of a time I spent with Rosfida. With Aprilis. What do you think, Anamona? What do... I think? You wish to know if that dress is defective? No, silly! It's a new outfit for you to wear! It took me a long time to make these. It's a present from me to you. A present? Then shall I give you something in return? You don't need to give me anything. I just want us to be friends, Anamona. Papa has already instructed me to do so. That's not what I mean. Why? How could you do that? 
Your doll was getting old. I merely attempted to give her a new body. However, I did not expect her soul to reject it and disappear. But you didn't have to throw her away! Hmm? What is the reason for this outburst? You don't know anything! I've had Anamona since I was little! You were gone forever, but here you are. I want so badly to take you with me, but you have your own life now. And I can't risk losing you again. Goodbye, Anamona. Until next time. She didn't take you because she was worried about you. It sounds like Aprilis was actually a pretty normal girl. I'm kind of relieved to hear that. Anamona? You're smiling! Hmm? Oh. So it seems dolls can smile too. Anamona! So what you were looking for was Aprilis all along? Perhaps. But only in the beginning. Now I wish to find a way to end the Grimwald Knox forever. Aprilis has been fighting alone for so long. But now, I can do something to help her. I do not want for her to feel alone again. Yeah. Yes. I believe we will. So, what do you all think about this Zola guy? From what I know about him, he sounds unpredictable. And his magnum opus is anybody's guess. Yeah, I just hope that we'll find out soon. Try it out. Need something else. See you later. Okay, well, I'm gonna go farm Noxes. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.